So after Russia takes Crimea, I want to move there. You know, so if I start migrating to Russia and my neighborhood has been horrible for three years, they made us suffer. They treat us like we're on hard drugs and we have three thousand to six thousand dollars a month to spend on hard drugs. We're not even close to that. We're dying. They're killing us. People are committing suicide like crazy because they find it impossible to live with these new high bred druggies. OK, they're street poopers, too. So you can smell their poop, their urine and they're very rude. They have hand weapons in their frickin' tents, including guns. And and the prime pooper says, well, you can't have one. Only the street poopers can. But they find the street poopers' guns. They do take them away. And these are the straight, same kind of street poopers that we had. And they used to be park poopers at Oppenheimer Park. And, my God, they used to pull out so many weapons, Uzis, rifles, handguns, everything. So I just want the hell out of here, you know, because this this is dumb to live here and suffer. So I know Russia is going to take Crimea because there's a song about it. And quite frankly, it's by the ocean and I'm or sea. Hey, I've never lived by sea. Sounds exciting. So I got to work on real quick before the bombs start flying, you know, get my little ass over there and Daisy's ass over to the Russia. You know, maybe I won't be smoking pot or cigarettes. I don't even know if I like Russian cigarettes. I don't like Chinese cigarettes. So you'll never see me migrating there. I might have a better chance with the, uh, oh, plus I don't like the rules. But yeah, I'll be quiet there. You know, I'll be a good girl in Russia if that's possible. If it's inside of me to be a good girl and, you know, not talk back to evil. But we'll see. But that's where I want to go. 2.4, you know, ethnic Russians. Those Ukrainians, and I'm a half Ukrainian, have been discriminating against the Russians in Ukraine. Could you imagine if we did that to the French, you know, Quebecers, discriminated against them? It's the same fucking thing. I am so ashamed to be a half Ukrainian. I'm pretty sure my family wouldn't have been the Ukrainians kind of people that would have ate their children and their pets in the... Uh, food shortage that uh, was engineered. Oh, also, they stood up for the Nazis, and they just recently took off their Nazi outfit off their battalion. And that's because, apparently, the Russian propaganda has been really bad, and they exposed the swastika. It wasn't the Ukrainians' fault. That's how fucking fucked up these people are. Me? I'm lucky. I'm half German-Jewish, so I got another half, you know? And quite frankly, I'm not sure about that side either. Because two people on heroin, when I said, listen, I'm half German Jewish and half Ukrainian, they go, Illuminati. And I went, what the fuck? You know, I hate those fuckers. You know, what do you mean? What do you mean? And it turns out they're right. Most of the Illuminati high-end people are German Jewish. So maybe I'm part rep. Tell you and who knows who the fuck knows in this fucking crazy world but I do know I might freeze to death on the first you know winter in Russia then we'll know oh poor Debbie she had too much freaking you know lizard DNA being German Jewish that's the only way we'd be able to find out because I certainly wouldn't give them my blood if you give your blood out to find out where your genetics are, they have the technology, and you can find this on TED Talks, and the best place is university. They'll be able to hack you with your frequency. We all have frequencies, so I don't want to be hacked. I don't want them to have my special frequency. We all have individual frequencies, and I don't want them to have my blood, my DNA, because they're all Google Luciferians and in that same group of people 